Good morning, everybody. How is everybody this morning? It is a beautiful day out and it is just gorgeous. Tuesday, ready to tackle the day. But you guys, but first, look how beautiful this flower arrangement is right here. I mean, isn't this just gorgeous? Like, look at all these beautiful flowers in there. One of my clients um, put that together and dropped it off over on my birthday. So it's so sweet, very talented. And she's like, it even doubles as like a candy dish. So after I'm done with the flowers, I can do the use it as a candy dish. But I mean, it's just so beautiful. I love it. Just all the crazy beautiful flowers in there. <coughs> What's up, Charlene? Hey, Ricky, how's it going? What are you guys up to this morning? Oh, looks like I sprayed my shirt with deodorant this morning. Real life, you guys. Oops, who cares, right? Good morning, Kathy. Cheers to this morning's cup of coffee. Um, actually, not in my car. It's really weird to do this again. <laughs> not in the car. But I'm in Memphis today. And I think I shared that story with you one time. Um, was went to a, um, I'm part of Juice Plus, and that was my first network marketing company I got involved with. And um, so I went to their convention, and one of them was in Memphis. Really cool place, really cool place. If you haven't been to Memphis, love it. I love just being able to explore different ways and states and countries of how people live. Um, this year I'm really sad that the Guatemala trip did get canceled um, due to you know the virus and everything and everything being completely shut down um, in Guatemala they're not even letting you know residents move from what we would call county to county so they call those districts so pretty sad because I was really looking forward to seeing the kids and um, I've been collecting kids shoes since the day I got back from that trip. So if you have like, uh, if you're local to Orange County, if you have any like kids shoes anywhere from, you know, the age one and a half to, you know, 13, um, I am still collecting shoes because I will eventually be going back to Guatemala. They think maybe early next year that we'll be able to get over there, so. Um, but we're just now sending money so at least Mana Worldwide can still provide meals and everything to these kids every single day. It's pretty amazing what they do. It really is. But um, just seeing how other people live is pretty awesome. So what is up everybody? So today, if you notice I'm kind of changing my gears on how I am labeling these videos. Like yesterday I did Motivation Monday. And I think because my topics all kind of run in together. So today is going to be like Transformation Tuesday, but not transform your body, but transforming your mind. And um, because I think everything that we do has a huge role in transforming our mind into a space to where we are confident, strong, courageous, um, and so many different things. And so that's why I'm ch changing the gears and getting out of the actual like straight up topics of like fear and courage and um, it's I think gonna be a lot better because my mind goes all over the place especially when I'm just constantly listening to these videos and I'm thinking about all these different things and it's like you know fear plays a huge role in anything that you want to achieve and you just have to have courage and it's just crazy um, how how everything just ties in together but so I was listening to this really great YouTube video already this morning and my mind is a little bit sidetracked because I got too caught up in politics this morning unfortunately um, so it happens when I look online too early in the morning and I see all this stuff but uh, Orange County is trying to um, rally together to try to make sure that all businesses are essential and so for me that is a huge thing for me because um our business has been closed and um it's it's tough and there's really still no end in sight 
So I was dealing with that. And then on my back, <laughs> my back fence, um, which I keep seeing run by is like a squirrel and it's totally been messing with my little dog all morning. So it's <laughs> like sidetracked all over the place. Um, but have you guys ever seen a squirrel wag its tail? It's seriously, it was totally taunting my dog. It was hilarious. He's just sitting on the back fence, wagging his tail staring at my dog and my dog's like losing his mind like ha 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 it's so funny good morning misty how are you hey denise so see what you guys are talking about i'm all over the place um so let's talk about transforming your mind how do you do that you you have to work on it every single day remember you have to have these great habits you have to be consistent you have to just get out there and do the things before your mind tells you not to do them. So don't hesitate, act now. Um, plug in to these motivational videos. Find a great motivational speaker that you love listening to that fills you up. Like for me, you know, I've talked about how Les Brown, I love him, I love what he says, I love what he's all about, what his, his energy, his fire, the way he speaks in his voice. But that may not work for some of you because everybody's different. Everybody um, gets encouraged and motivates and inspired by different individuals. And so it's really important to find one that you love that's going to help motivate and inspire you to plug in every day and listen to what they have to say. Because when you do that, it... I tell you guys, it is mind blowing. It's, it transforms your mind. When you start thinking of positive versus negatives, it's gonna change all the aspects of your life, right? You know, sometimes things really suck. They do. And when you have a positive attitude, it really helps you get through it. So, you know, you have to look at things and you see things in a completely different way when your mind shifts over to that. You know, a lot of times people are always like, why is this happening? Like, why me? Like, you know, why did this person get sick? Or, you know, there's just so many different questions that people always have. And for me, the way that I live life is, I'm not gonna question so much everything because I know that things just happen and things happen in each other's lives and things don't happen in each other's lives for a certain reason. You know, it is, it's really God's plan for us and, um, if I, if I could answer every question, I would still be having a ton more questions. But if I just am rolling with the punches and rolling with life and what life has to offer, then I'm just going to just live a life that's so much more freeing. Like I'm trying not to get caught up in all these politics and stuff um, because it is very draining on your mind and then you can totally get caught into that and you forget about everything else that's going on in your life. You know, your family, your kids, your businesses. Like right now, I'm trying not to do that because I got businesses that I gotta work. I still have to make an income, you know, while our gym is closed. So if I plugged in and just listened to all this negative BS of politics all day long and get so wrapped up in the people negativity, then for one, it's gonna give me a bad attitude and my family knows I don't need a bad attitude <laughs> because when I get a bad attitude, it's not good. So staying positive, staying strong, staying mindful of everybody's situation and just rolling with the flow of everything that's going on. You know, obviously being strong and sticking up for what we believe in is important too, but you can't forget that if you get so wrapped up in things that you're gonna miss out on a lot of other good things. So don't, don't get too involved in the craziness because it's going to set you apart and it's gonna keep you away from the things that you need to be doing right now, yes, right now, to change your life because this is gonna be over one day. And when this is all over, there's gonna be so many people that still don't have jobs, they're gonna have a bad attitude, and they're not gonna have anything to do but just have a just negative mindset, right? So plug in now, <laughs> you'll leave that to Damon. Yes, all of his uh, stuff that he 
watches on a daily basis or looks up. Yes. He's like my informant. I'm like, I just don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me I'm good. You know, I'm just, you know, I, I'm still doing little fights here and there. I emailed the OC board of supervisors today about how all businesses are essential. So I'm doing my part, but I'm not going to get wrapped up in the craziness because for one, that's not going to make me money. That's not going to help put food on the table for my family. So I'm going to work my butt off where I can and go from there. And that's why, you know, my business, my businesses, my online businesses have been so successful is because I'm changing my mindset. I'm changing my work ethic and I'm getting out there and I'm doing things because I know that it needs to be done. But the cool thing is when this is all over, I want to be that much stronger. So I want you guys to feel that too. I want you guys to be able to have the positive mindset that I have, but it didn't come easy. I haven't always been this way. That's why you have to plug in every single day. It, like I tell you, it is mind transforming. And so if you could do something every single day to help yourself, this would be it. Remember, 30 minutes a day, just listening to a positive pump up, get your spirits going, like, right? You know, Rachel Hollis, if you're into like listening to uh, good chicks, she's really cool. Um, I had recommended some of her books back in the day. Really good stuff. She even did a, because um, she does like uh, workshops, just and motivational speech, speech uh, can't talk, speeches, just like Tony Robbins. And so um, she did like a virtual one where you just can uh, go online and register and do it. But I mean, this stuff is insane. So instead of spending your money on some BS crap that you don't need, go and spend your money on stuff that is going to help your mind grow, right? Now, I don't agree in paying these thousands and thousands of dollars for your mindset stuff when you can get that shit for free, okay? To me, it's all about being responsible with your money and I don't think spending like $15,000 to have somebody tell you it's gonna be okay, you can do this. I don't think that's worth it, but you can find that from somebody else that just is not trying to like take your money and just wants to change your, change your positive, give you a positive mindset. So you can definitely find those online for free. So, but you got to plug in, plug in every day. That's what's going to change your mind, change your attitude, change your life. So get out there, get to it because no one's going to change your life but you. So if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, it's all your fault. It really is. You know, I, I have been there and I'll be darn if I'm going to go there again. So get to it, you guys, because there is something so much better waiting for you, waiting for you to change your attitude, change your mind, and just change your life. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday and uh, get out there and do something for yourself today, whether it's plugging in your earphones and listening to something, going for a walk, um, exercising, um, don't just sit around and binge watch TV, you know, plug into something first and then you can do your binge watching if that's what what's what you like um, but just make sure that you always plug in and you do something that's going to make you grow and you can benefit from uh, before you actually do some mindless things so have an amazing day and I'll see you guys tomorrow on hump day another dozens daily dose at 8 30 a.m. Pacific time bye you guys